Hola, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. I'm at the NVIDIA booth here at Mobile World Congress uh, checking out some of the demos running on the Tegra 2 dual-core tablets being shown off the show, the uh, Android Honeycomb tablets. We're going to take a look at some of the gaming demos on the Motorola Zoom, which is going to hit Verizon in the U.S. Uh, in just about a week or so. Let's check it out. I'm obviously here covering the show for Techno Buffalo. I'm also doing a little bit of work for NVIDIA on their blog, and uh, they sponsored my trip over to Spain. So, you know, I promise to be objective in my coverage, but full disclosure, thanks NVIDIA for the trip over here to Barcelona. All right, so we're going to take a look at some special games, uh, and I mean that in all sincerity. These are really cool games that NVIDIA has been working on. Their titles you probably recognize, but NVIDIA has been working with the game developers to uh, come up with some Tegra optimized versions of these games and uh, there's some really impressive stuff. We're going to start out with Fruit Ninja Tegra HD version and uh, you may be familiar with Fruit Ninja, incredibly popular game on some other platforms and you can see the detail in the fruit with the 3D effects and the shadowing, the scratch marks left on the wall, just I mean but just you know concentrate on the fruit for a second as it's flying up and down and just the the roundness of the shapes and the shadowing and texture, very very cool stuff. Alright next up is Riptide and uh, after seeing this demo, it made me want to blow off the rest of work and just play this game, because this looks like fun. So again, you can see it's a Tegra, Tegra optimized version. And, uh, you know, just check everything out. The 3D realism, the water, which is actually a physics engine that's rendering the water in real time. Uh, you can see the game being played with the, uh, the accelerometer sensors, the gyroscope, in the zoom tablet. I'm zoning out imagining I'm riding a jet ski, but you know, just very, very cool stuff. The gameplay is smooth, it's fluid, and uh, you know, just so much to look at. The trees, the buildings, and the really, really cool water effects there. Alright, next up, Galaxy on Fire 2. And again, these are all Tegra optimized versions. They're running on the Motorola Zoom, which is a 10-inch screen, if you're not familiar, uh, running Google's new Android 3.0 operating system known as Honeycomb. So, I mean, this one, you know, they all really could, but this one speaks for itself when you, uh, when you just look at all the detail. We're going to look at something called Action Freeze. You can rotate your spaceship in 3D. You can zoom in and out to get close in the detail. And then there's this little trick here where we've switched into uh, the way this game looks on a competitive platform you might have heard of, it's called the iPad. So if you check out the, uh, well, just check out the level of detail, or lack thereof, on the spaceship. And now we can go back, and this is how it looks in the Tegra optimized version. And again, you know, rotating in 3D, all the detail, the texture of the, uh, I am guess I want to say metal, but I don't know, at Galaxy on Fire, that might be some kind of carbon nanotube composite body or something, I don't know. But if you look at the texture, the flames, everything on the ship, just incredible. And we'll flip back real quick to the iPad mode again. And, you know, you're missing something. I think you can figure it out. All right, next up we've got Samurai 2. Vengeance. And again, you know, everything from the lanterns glowing to, you know, an increased number of objects flying around. And then when you watch the actual fighting action, with the effects of the glow and the sword, sword swings and the detail when you kill an opponent. Just absolutely unreal. Oh. Now see, it's good I'm not demoing because you wouldn't have gotten to see any of this stuff because... Nice. Cut, see, I would not have cut anybody in half, so it's good we've got a professional doing the actual gameplay here. But again, you know, just the, everything from, you know, the smoothness of the gameplay to the little subtle things that make these games so popular, just, it's all enhanced on the Tegra platform. Alright, and last but certainly not least, Zen Pinball. 
This is one that I could maybe demo, although I couldn't hold the camera and uh, I certainly couldn't talk while I was demoing it, but, but pinball's a little more, uh, a little more within my skill set. And again, the, you know, the detail on the table, the graphics on the table, the wheel turning there when the ball was launched, the 3D effect of the sidewalls of the table and the flippers, the motion of the ball, I mean, just everything. I, I can just be quiet so you can look at it, but just, just, I keep saying unreal, but it really is. It's just, uh, it's, it's fantastic and it's smooth, you know? It's not just this level of detail and all the shadowing and everything going on, but the gameplay itself, you know, is actually smooth, which uh, is, is all the more impressive. Very, very cool stuff. I cannot wait for the Zoom to uh, hit the market. Just, just amazing stuff. And again, it's powered by the uh, Tegra 2 dual core processor inside, and Honeycomb 3.0 is optimized for the dual core arch architecture as well as uh, GPU hardware uh, acceleration for the 3D graphics, which is really where you're getting all this great stuff. From Mobile World Congress 2011 in Barcelona, Spain, I'm Noah Kravitz for the NVIDIA blog with the Motorola Zoom Tegra 2 powered tablet.